Hey, what's going on everybody? Donovan here with Fret Spot. I've got a gorgeous space to show you today. Uh, for any of you who've been watching the channel for a, a while knows that uh, I used to be a Federa dealer. Great bases, great people. Uh, just for a, a variety of reasons decided to stop selling them new. But, you know, uh, uh, love the bases and the people. Like, the stuff's just, you know, fantastic. Um, but I did get this gorgeous emperor in that I want to show you. This was a trade, and uh, but this thing is a 1991 Federa Emperor. And, you know, there's just something magical that happens with uh, an instrument, high-quality instrument especially, when it's been allowed to kind of season and age. And uh, this is certainly no exception. So this bass has this gorgeous ebony top, and then it has a cherry tone block. Cherry is kind of like ebony. And then we've got walnut wings. And you can see the cherry there. It's got some figuring and flaming. Uh, maple neck that's got some flame on it. A fair amount of flame on it. Um, ebony peg head with the butterfly inlay. And this gorgeous ebony fingerboard that has lots of figuring. and It's just absolutely striking. Uh, just a beautiful base, uh, Winge pickup covers. This was updated with the latest uh, pickups and electronics. So it's got uh, the, uh, the Federa Duncan dual coils and the Pope preamp. Uh, so it's, you know, all that's current. This is basically the, I mean, this is the specced out base that what you would get today, uh, but with woods that are really hard to come by. Uh, so that's really nice. This base today would probably cost about thirteen grand. Um, kind of interesting story about the inlay. This was originally made for one of their artists, and he, artist, that artist had their name there. And then when it was sold, uh, they sent it off like to have that inlay put in the artist's name take out, which kind of makes sense. Um, if you didn't want that to be in there and you wanted something else, you could totally have someone who does inlay do something different there. So just so you know. I mean, it looks nice. I think it's fine. But if you wanted something different, uh, that could be done. Uh, it does have, like, some nicks and dings here and there. I mean, this is a 30-plus-year-old bass. Uh, but nothing major. You know, there, there's a little nick there on the, uh, the inset there. Um, just little tiny things. You can kind of see in the pictures. Nothing major. And certainly things that, you know, when you're playing it, you can't tell. So, uh, stunning bass sounds great. Uh, I have we've I've had my tech set it up and go through it, restrung it, and so it is set up and ready to play. Uh, so with that, let's take a listen. Oh, that reminds me. If you want to check it out, go to fretspot.com. You can also email me at Donovan at fretspot.com. D O N O V A N. All right, let's listen.
Thank <laughs> you.